Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's talk about, tell me about yourself, the most important thing in any interview, and of course, the decider. This is the area where an interviewer can find out if you are a genuine or you know, you're trying to fake it up. So stay tuned and subscribe if you are new to my channel. So I would like to tell one thing before I start anything here. So there is no right or no wrong to this question. The only thing that matters most is how better are you describing in this first few minutes of your interviewer? So that is what will be deciding your future poster. So first of all, how we need to sell ourselves because we have got like five to 10 minutes for this question, which we need to, which we need to utilize it very effectively. Okay. So the more you tell about the problem statements that you have got, problem statements and the solutions that you have offered, the better are the chances that you, know, you will be hired or you will be asked in detail about that. So first, first step is we need to tell how much of exposure we have got with the client. So that is when he will be knowing or the interviewer will be knowing that, okay, this guy has got some exposure, like, you know, in dealing with clients or working in a stressful environment or working in a team or collaborating with multiple, you know, uh, team members to get the work or different stakeholders. So like, you know, DB team is there, testing team is there, or, you know, maybe a requirement team is there. So you are connecting with every member of the team to get what you need and you are building your project and you're deploying it. So these are all something that we need to consider while we are explaining ourselves. So always remember it is like the trailer of the movie. So no matter if the movie is good or bad, trailer should always be good. So that is when people will go to movie and watch, watch it, right? Similarly, no matter how technically strong you are or how good you are in English, how good you are in writing an email, everything comes second. But first thing is how well are you presenting yourself? Okay. So first thing is if you are in a online interview, make sure you are posture or your camera position is aligned perfectly. So I have often come across situations where we are holding cameras like our grannies. Like I can see the forehead of the candidate. So which gives a very false impression to the interviewer. So make sure you know you are presenting well he can see your face, you can see his face. It should be like that. Okay, like normally how we converse with our friends. So, you know, if at all someone asks you to take a selfie, you know, we definitely take a very better selfie because we are, you know, pros in taking uh, selfies in Snapchat uh, or wherever you want to post it, we take it. Similarly, adjust your camera angle so that it suits like a professional or it makes you look the professional thing. First thing is this, because this is what he'll be seeing as soon as you turn on the camera. So one prerequisites that many are having while starting the interview, because they'll share the screenshot of that screen and they'll save it and they'll have it for future reference. So that's why you make sure your body posture, your camera angle and your dressing, you are looking very professional in that. Okay, so that will definitely give you some extra marks for that. Next is the interviewer will start going through your resume. So while going through the resume, the default question is like, tell me you about yourself. Okay, that comes into picture. So one thing here we need to start with is I, I mean, generally how I start, I am Rahul Power with six years of experience or, or we can also optimize it as I'm a certified Tableau desktop specialist with X years of experience 
so my first line itself is a very solid statement so in this statement i am trying to convey one point very clearly that i am a certified tableau developer so if you are having you know some certifications that you have then that is something that you want to highlight first because interviewer might listen to the first few lines of what you are saying so that's why keep very 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 important to points in the first line or the first few lines so here now when you say x years of experience here i will i will tell that how i am categorizing this x years like my 3 years of experience as an etl developer then i moved on to uh, tableau and then i started uh, you know uh, working in the tableau so i have 3 years of experience as a tableau developer along with that i have also worked on tools like power bi or pixel so something that you want to definitely add on here because interviewer would like to know how many uh, how much of exposure you have on the other tools because you now we might be using more than one tool in uh, an environment you take so maybe we'll have one retail application so we have one bi application and then when we have one database application okay so etl uh, and reporting and b uh, database Th these three things you definitely want to highlight when you are explaining next is what kind of roles you have okay so i am currently working for so and so project where my roles involve so you can start adding your roles here like you know working with clients to get the requirement or uh, attending stand up meetings stand up calls or scrum calls to share the update delivering the or development of reports come a fourth one migration of reports testing of reports so these are some of the activities that you definitely want to tell in the project okay so these are the most common tasks of any tableau developer or any ba developer you take so make sure you are talking about this in while you are explaining okay so let us summarize i am a certified okay so i will write it while i am telling maybe it will help those who are trying to write it down and i'll paste this is in description box as well so i am a certified tableau desktop specialist with like say i am taking an example of 8 years here of experience or maybe i'll take 4 years because many of us are in 4 to 5 years of experience so i'll write it as 4 years of experience of which i have uh close to 2 years of 2 years of experience as an etl developer or you can take whatever like you know maybe you are from a data analyst background or you are from a uh in a bp or kpo sector where you want to upskill so you, you can be very honest here you, know, you can tell that okay two years of experience i have uh, as an uh what do you call i'll write it as a technical specialist and then i got an opportunity you can tell them that okay then i can you can create a convincing story you can tell that okay in in our project we were using bi for reporting purpose so we had tableau there so i requested my manager ki okay boss i am interested in upskilling i want to learn give me an opportunity so i have you know myself learned and explored 
about the tableau and that is when i have requested my manager to provide me an opportunity that is how i got an experience that is how i got a chance to work on a tableau developer so you can tell that that is how you have two years of experience as tableau developer so in your tableau development how many what kind of reports you have created or what is uh, the task that you have done all that you can mention here so first or not first maybe second or third the important uh, is how well are you convincing him that you are genuine okay one problem area here is the terminology that we use in interviews so often this is the area where we can catch and tell that okay this guy hasn't used okay so that's why i would suggest follow the terminology implement them like you know this terminology the five points that we have written here these are the terms that we need to talk about or these are the terms that we need to use while explaining so that is when uh, you know the interviewer will feel that okay you have really worked in a real time environment otherwise you can be easily caught so make sure you are trying to implement that okay so try to get well versed with the common jargon that is being used in real time this will definitely be a savior for you trust me okay and then make sure you are you are aware or you have or you have answers for some of the common questions like below okay so like sometimes you know i generally to cross check i ask what is the tableau desktop version you are using trust me many of them in in the interview failed to answer this one very common place to ca catch a candidate and tell that okay this candidate is not genuine okay so if you are maybe this is not important from for many of us but to check if you are genuine or not this is one very important question make sure you are aware what is your tableau desktop version second question is so you can tell like any version like 2021 Point two or three, make uh, and also keep yourself updated with what is the latest version available in the market. So you can also tell that the latest version in the market is twenty twenty two point X, and we are using twenty twenty one point four. Something like this, you can answer that question. Next important question is, how do you? get task or how do you get work one important question and again one important place where many people fail to answer because we might be not be working in a real time environment and that is the reason we don't know the answer for this question and we you know get uh, you know puzzled in the interview and we don't know what to answer and we keep silent that is the place again the interviewer will catch us so one thing is requirement here requirement gathering okay so simple or the most common answer that you can give is your lead will assign you the task simple or every day or there will be tickets that will be assigned to you so you have to complete that in the particular sprint like if you have seen my recent uh, short about the scrum there i have talked about how the tickets will be assigned so if you are not watched it you can go you can you know watch it there so i have talked about that so you can talk about that terminology here so we have scrum you can tell 
the same thing that i have told that you know we have scrum meetings or stand up meetings every day where we discuss about the tickets that are assigned to us so i am going to write that down here we will be having scrum meetings or stand up meetings every day where we discuss about the progress of the tickets that were assigned to us so if we are facing any problems we discuss that during the scrum meeting so that is what you need to tell okay so remember this point this is very very important second point is very important how do you get tasks and how do you answer that question trust me no this is where majority of them fail okay so next he might be asking like uh, how do you test your report okay do you have any checklist again one common area that many don't know actually so we might be experts in tableau because you have learned tableau uh, from an institute or from maybe from youtube or, or by going through uh, the tableau channel fine you now you know everything about tableau but how do you know that you now how do you test a report so this is you will know only when someone tells you so don't worry i am here to help you out in this thing so testing of report is again one very important thing for any developer irrespective of technology we are in testing is always very important one first when the development is done okay suppose the defect that you that is assigned to you you have completed the development now you have to second step is you have to test that report so testing report means validating your report validating report means making sure the values that are coming in the dashboard are correct with respect to your database now many ask me question anna how do you validate the report actually suppose we have some sample superstore as you so i'll go to our tableau here maybe i'll connect to our sample superstore just to show you okay so i'm taking region field here and i am also taking sales here and dropping it now let me convert it into text table here so now you see region we are getting for central region i am getting 5 lakh 1 east region 6 lakh 78 south i am getting 391 west i am getting 725 so this is how i am getting okay now this is something that you are showing in the report okay but so what you will do you will save the screenshot of this now you will go to the database wherever it is using maybe it can be your you know oracle database you can be your snowflake database whatever you will go to that database you will connect it to the same table sample superstore and you will run the same query like now you will write the query how do you write the query for that select region comma sum of sales from sample superstore group by region simple so now it will give you the result now you will validate both of the what is the value that you are getting from database and what is the value that you are getting in the tableau if both are matching which means you your test case is passed so like that you have to validate all of the values that are being displayed on the screen okay or on the dashboard or on the report after that which means so once you create that report you have successfully created a test case document and one experience that you got of creating a test case document so which we have which we are telling to the recruiter or the to the interviewer in the first point 
and now once that is testing is done you will be migrating to another environment okay so next important thing you can tell is you know maybe the interviewer might ask you again how do you migrate in your project so it all depends there are different process or you know maybe every company will follow their own approach okay so sometimes third party or will be involved in migrating your reports or you will only migrate reports or admin team will migrate reports there are n number or using some third party tool you will be migrating like tap command and all you will try and you will migrate reports anything is possible here okay so you can tell whatever you feel easy so most uh, commonly developers who have developed report will migrate reports now what is migration here migration means simple migration means moving report or reports from one environment one environment to another environment remember this very important so how do you migrate that is the one basic question again one area where many fail so i am trying to focus only on those important questions where many of them fail and many of them don't know actually okay so my intention is that while creating this video so migration so initially when you start your development so when you start your development you will be creating your reports in this dev environment where you will be tracking all the progress of that report and you will be publishing that n number of times and all so after the report is completed so in this dev environment we'll be, we will be connecting to dev tables and building the report okay so once that is done you will test your report with respect to to the data available in dev environment so once that is fine what you will do we need to migrate that report to qa environment again now we are moving into next environment so when we are moving into dev and uh, qa environment what we need to do we need to remember this step we need to download the report that is successfully tested in dev second step connect it to qa environment or qa server which means to dot a i'm writing here because this is also part of a connect it to qa tables basically so that dev dev tables are different qa tables are different in terms of data so when i say data in dev environment we might have data for like say uh, 2021 okay so here table structure will be same but data might be different so here in in dev environment if we have like say one year of data in qa environment or qa servers or qa tables we might have like two years or three years of data depends on depends on how the environment is so what we need to match first first we need to again there is some checklist validate if the tables are present or not second validate if the data is present or not and then connect to qa tables and then fourth one publish the report 
to QA environment. So here to publish it to dev, there will be a different link, different link. And similarly to publish, to publish it to uh, what you call QA, it will be a different link. So you, you need to make sure that you are publishing it to the right environment with the right connection. Again, one common area where most of them commit errors in even in real time, not in the interview. They publish it to QA environments, but they forget that they have to connect it to QA. They'll publish it with dev tables. So they might get you know, data issues again. So you have to check. You need to make sure you are publishing in the right environment with the right set of tables. One important thing for anyone here. Okay, so make sure you are aware of that. Okay, so apart from that, so we need to cover all of this during our interview experience or interview explanation or project explanation. And then you can also cover point about like what was the frequency of your reports, like whether it was a daily report or a monthly report or a weekly report. Or yearly is also possible, yearly report. Based on that, you can tell them, okay, we have, I have uh, created uh, uh, like uh, four reports where uh, two of them were daily reports and two of them were monthly reports, which means when I say monthly reports, this will be scheduled to refresh once in a month when I'm telling it a monthly report. So when I'm telling it a daily report, reports are scheduled to run every day. So this information, whether your report to be scheduled daily or monthly, you can get that information from the client. Okay. So make sure you are building a rapport, a good rapport with the client. Your, ma your manager might be cranky, your team lead might be cranky, your teammates may be cranky, but client will always be helpful. So you can reach out to him whenever you have any issues. Okay, you are not understanding something. You are not understanding the expectation of the requirement. You can definitely reach out to him to find out the answers for that. And based on that, you can definitely create a better dashboard and a better report and present it to him. So once he is convinced, no one can stop you. Okay, so how many... So this question is, is asked how many reports have you created? One common question in real, uh, in your experience. What will be your answer? You can write it in the comment section. How many reports have you created so far? One common question that is being asked many times. Okay, so just to check what the number you will give. Okay, so let us see what is the common answer that we will get comment your uh, count of reports that you will tell when someone asks you okay so i hope you find this video useful if you like it please like share and subscribe thank you have a good day bye bye